Hi friends, my name is Atul and I welcome you all on my new video on heat sources in cutting. Okay, so why it is so important for study the heat sources in metal cutting? There are two major factors involved. One is cutting tool and another one is work piece. In favor or in regards to cutting tool, what are those? first one if the temperature is getting generated okay then the tool wear will be rapid because of that hot temperature the plastic deformation of cutting edge if your tool is not that hot hard then your cutting edge will be get plastically deformed and also due to thermal shocks thermal cracks will be forming on the cutting edge and the fourth one is the built up edge formation if you are not aware of the what is mean by built up edge formation then please watch my previous video on types of chips in that i explain the built up edge formation okay and what are the effect of temperature on workpiece actually first one the dimensional inaccuracy of machine part this is because in during machining the temperature will temperature will rise and part will get expanded and after the machining part will get contract so ultimately the dimensional inaccuracy will be there in the part due to temperature generation or heat generation yeah because of high temperature the external surface of the or the external surface of the machine part it will get burnt or get oxidized that is also not good and due to thermal distortion some residual stresses in the part will get inducted that is also not good okay but there is some good news if cutting temperature increased prior to cutting okay then it will soften the material and it will reduce by some extent some cutting force that means power consumption will be low that is desired to get or to achieve that one sometimes the part or work material will be get heated externally and then they will mount on the machine these are the effect of temperature on the cutting tool and so why or how heat is generated do you know law of conservation of energy yes the same law is applied here also that is energy neither be created nor be destroyed but it only can be transformed from one form to another form the same is law applied here okay do you remember the joules experiment joules experiment from the thermodynamics in that what he has shown the mechanical work done can be transformed into the equivalent amount of heat if you remember the joules apparatus that stirrer and thermometer and all those things then you will recall those things the same principle is applied here that means the whatever we are cutting the material mechanically that energy we are dissipating that is getting transformed to heat okay so the what is the mechanical work done here in the metal cutting actually that is depends upon the cutting force and cutting speed and we know by formula work done is equal to cutting force into velocity and the unit i kept as a kgfm that is mechanical work done but if you want to get the equivalent amount of heat generated in kilo calories in kilo calorie then divide this equation by 427 that is thermal equivalent of heat okay so this is how or why the heat is getting generated the basic fundamental from thermodynamics thermodynamics principle is applied here in metal cutting also so what are the sources of heat generation in metal cutting yes there are three sources and we will see one by one what are those okay as i have mentioned here one two three like that okay so the first one is the sear zone here as you can see this shear zone is mainly on lies on the shear plane or where the de actual deformation is occurring here actually what happens when the material is getting deformed plastically 
the shear energy of shear energy of that material is getting transformed to heat and mostly that heat is carried away by the chips okay that is how the energy temperature or heat is generating in the shear zone and that is carried away by chip little bit amount of uh, heat is getting transformed to the workpiece also but that is not desired that not desired in that good manner if it is in controlled or like that it's okay but if it is in more then it's not okay okay so the second one is the tool chip interface uh, i just want to mention you here the amount of heat generated in percentage wise is 60 to 70 percent you can say in shear shear zone okay the second one is the tool chip interface here tool and this chip interface here so here the heat is generated mainly because of the friction between chip and the tool okay understand it is little bit far from the tool tip point just by some distance in the there is rubbing action between chip and tool is happening as you see if you are increasing the cutting speed the friction will increase and the temperature will also increase in this area okay so that's it from tool chip interface Sorry, and work tool interface, work piece, and this tool interface here. Here is heat is generated mainly because of rubbing action between the tool and the work piece. Okay, so the amount of heat generated is five to ten percent only in the uh, work piece and the tool interface. And uh, in tool chip interface, I forgot to mention it is around uh, ten to twenty percent. You can say in the tool and chip interface okay here it's because of rubbing so how heat is distributed mainly in the cutting zone mainly it is distributed between workpiece chip tool and negligible amount is dissipated into the ambient air so neglecting that uh, heat transfer to the ambient air so what are the things mostly if you are considering the 100 percent so as as shown here as you are increasing the cutting speed the and uh, here uh, in this blue figure what i mentioned the cutting speed and percentage of heat shared by chip tool and workpiece as you see cutting speed is increasing the amount of heat transferred to the chip is increasing okay due to various reasons because of uh, uh, there is no time to there is no time to heat get heat transfer to the workpiece tool etc okay and due to more friction your chip is getting more temp heated okay so the percentage of heat transfer to the chip is more as cutting speed increases and same way it's getting reduced to the workpiece and tool okay so in this figure what i want you to tell you guys that the highest temperature in the cutting zone is little bit far from the tool nose radius or tip of the tool why i want to mention you that as i am a manufacturing engineer this is very important concept you see because your cutting fluid or coolant is directed towards the this point only if you see the geometry of the tool holder or shank which is having through coolant that is directed towards the this point okay that's why it is very much important where is the highest temperature is getting generated in the cutting zone okay so that's it guys from this topic if you liked my video and found useful please do share with your friends and don't forget to like my video and subscribe to my channel thank you